Three, two, one. Action. <laughs> Hi guys. Today we'll do something super fun because we'll learn about a technique that I was taught while being in therapy. It's called the risk plan. I don't really know what it's actually called, but that doesn't really matter because it's a great technique that had great results back in the day. And let's do it together. The risk plan is a very handy tool. It helps you to unlock behaviors, actions, and basically all the things that you're scared of doing, but you wish you could do, but usually limiting beliefs are holding you back. An example of these things could be uh, the fear of talking in public, the fear of initiating conversations with people, doing phone calls. The core idea that we have to remember here is that it's all the things that we wish we could do, but we avoid doing them because of fear, anxiety, or limiting beliefs or whatsoever. So what we try to do with the risk plan is create new corrective experiences for ourselves that prove to ourselves that actually we can do these things and actually they're not that hard and actually it's all just a big lie. Like what you've been telling yourself and conditioning yourself to believe that I can do that, I'm not good at this, people wouldn't believe me, no. That's what we do here. But you know what? I think it's time to actually make our own risk plan because what are we even talking about here? <laughs> In order to make your own risk plan, you get a sheet of paper, you create two columns. In the first, you write the challenge, so the thing that scares you. And in the second, you write how much it actually scares you. So how much anxiety you feel with the thought of having to actually do that thing. My tip is to write all the challenges, so all the things that scare you on a separate sheet of paper in a random order just as they come to your mind. And then once you're done, you transfer them onto your risk plan, sorting them from low level anxiety to high level anxiety. Uh, and this is also how we'll work with the plan. So we will start taking on the challenges from easy to hard. So from low level fear to high level fear. It's like a game basically where you start at level one and then you work your way up. Of course, you can also create your risk plan on your computer or your phone. I created mine on Notion and I also added levels to make it a little bit more fun for myself. There's three levels in total, one, two, three, and you can follow along and do it like this if that's something you like. The time has come, let's implement the plan. Starting with level one, of course, with the first four challenges. Here we go. Good morning, guys. One of the little risks that I wanted to start taking is in regards to how I dress and how I go to my work and so on. It's not like I have anxiety putting on nice clothes and I'm ashamed or something, but I feel like I fall into a rut quite easily, especially during the season. I wear the same clothes every day, it's kind of in my comfort zone. I wanted to try to wear more exciting clothes and actually really shop my closet, take a look at what I have in my closet and actually really wear it. Because for me, the easiest thing is just to wear the same things over and over again during this season. So I wore these pants that are, you know, kind of nice. And I'm gonna wear my new glasses, which I kind of avoided wearing because they're kind of different than my uh, other glasses. I wanted to wear a dress, but my boots are broken. So I'm not gonna wear a dress. But let me just do my hair really quick. <laughs> It's not like the perfect look I would want to wear. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it. I hate it. <laughs> so basically the challenge is to wear these glasses today. The new glasses, okay? I'm gonna try to find a nice outfit. I'm struggling. I'm late. A note to self, please decide what you're gonna wear the day before and not like the same day because this ain't it. I don't know what I just put together. Honestly, I don't have time. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I feel like I'm wearing different things that are not going well together, but that's also something I should work on. Okay, let's go. I'm late. This is the dress. It's like a denim dress. I think it's cute. Let's put it on. Everything's falling apart. Yeah, so this is a dress. I think a belt would look nice with this one too, but I don't have a belt right now, so I'm not gonna put one on. <laughs> okay. So that's it. 
I just can't decide if my fringe looks nice today or not. Uh, so, uh, that's it. For the next days, I got myself more organized, as you can tell, and I chose my outfits from the night before so I wouldn't run around like a crazy person in the morning. Uh, the weather got warmer as well, which is nice, hence the spring outfits. And I would say that even though this challenge was rather easy, it had a really positive effect on me and how I felt every single morning going to work, lifting my mood and my confidence. You know, I usually reserve my nicer outfits for my personal life and not so much for work, but hey, if I'm spending all these hours at work, might as well look cute and feel good. <laughs> Okay, time for challenge number two, <laughs> which is tackling my social anxieties. I decided to do that in two ways. Number one, initiate more conversations with people I don't know. And number two, try to be more authentic in conversations. In order to initiate conversations, obviously you have to find yourself around people that you don't know that well. I had the perfect opportunity to do that at work because I just started working at a new job. We also work at a co-working space, so it seemed like quite a good opportunity to do it there. Of course not all of you is starting a new job right now, so don't worry because initiating conversations is something we can do simply anywhere. So what I did was basically whenever I had the chance to be around other people, I would also talk to them. Whenever I went to get water or during lunchtime, I would try to initiate a conversation, try with small talk like, hi, how are you? What's your name? <laughs> and I think that I really created some friendly connections through that. There's two or three people I feel like we talk on a regular now whenever I see them at work. One of these conversations actually led to challenge number three that we'll see after this because it was all thanks to this person who introduced me to that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I think the initiating of the conversation really opened a great vibe, confidence, and just just feeling very happy going to work and talking to a lot of people there. And then the second thing was try to be more authentic with who I really am. This is a very big challenge in life generally. I don't think I can tackle it within three weeks or something. But what I try to do, at least for now with my immediate coworkers, I try to go with my first thought response. Like the first thing that comes to mind as a response, say that instead of always heavily filtering everything that I want to say because I'm too scared that it's not going to land well or that people are going to like not resonate with what I say. I feel like in these last three weeks, I opened myself up at work a lot more than I did in the previous months. I just, you know, shared a joke, shared what I did on the weekends. It made me have the opportunity to kind of also have a laugh with other people and share a funny moment with them because I was going with my authentic response rather than always filtering myself so much, then I kind of don't feel like myself anymore. So that went well, but I think that's such a big challenge in itself to try to be authentic that this is something that's like an ongoing process through our entire lives that needs more work it needs more consistency discipline and just believing and trusting that we can do it As a third challenge, I decided to take part in a hiking excursion organized by a group of hikers that a co-worker of mine recommended to me. I went there alone and I just wanted to go, you know, I didn't want to put any extra pressure on myself that I have to make new friends or something like that. I just wanted to show up, have fun and enjoy the nature. Good morning. So it's currently 7.20 a.m. I'm walking towards the pickup location for the bus. I'm a little bit nervous about the whole hiking thing because I don't have the right shoes, I think. And I'm scared that my feet will hurt me and I will regret my life, but that's all. Other than that, I'm excited, I'm happy. I'm going there alone. I don't know anyone, so I have no idea. And it's my first time going. And that's pretty much it. So let's see. I had so much fun on the excursion. I ended up meeting super great people with great vibes. And you know, by the end of the day, we even shared a meal at the tavern. 
and it was all super friendly, super great, and it all happened naturally. Initially, I was so anxious to go to this hiking trip alone, but I have to say that it opened a new world to me and possibly even a new hobby. So I would 100% recommend if you also want to try out something new alone, go for it because you never know, maybe you're gonna meet great people along the way and maybe you're gonna end up having a new hobby and just great new adventures. The last thing I did was sharing things online. With online, I mean Instagram, because I don't really feel comfortable sharing so much on Instagram, to be honest. I never really have. I actually created a new account, which is my XX Lotus Girl, and I created it with the intention of actually sharing stuff there and not being so scared about it. I think it went pretty well. I really enjoy just taking snapshots of things that I saw and I liked and felt inspired by. I was like, snap, boom, it's live. It felt really liberating, somewhat liberating, because I felt like I'm finally sharing my POV with the world. <laughs> it's a nice little experiment uh, that I will try to keep doing. So if you want to follow me on XX Lotus Girl, it would be great. <laughs> You know, all jokes aside, if you feel like your normal account is just not doing it for you, just create a new one and just go and just post and just share. Talk about the things you wanna talk about. Sometimes it helps to separate accounts because sometimes the, the ones that we have are just filled with bad vibes. You know what I mean? That's it. That was it. I, I shared everything I wanted to share. The question of all the questions does the risk plan really work? Well, it does, it really does. I say that out of personal experience because I did it when I was in therapy and it really changed my life back then. That was like a breakthrough moment when I did it back then. And I ended up tackling all the challenges I had put on my risk plan, even the one that was at the top that was 100% of fear or whatever. So it's really worth trying, but the most important thing is to remember to take it easy, to not put a lot of pressure on yourself and to not think that you have to in one day go from zero to hero. No, it takes time, it takes consistency and you start easy and that's like the whole point. You start easy because you want to create the resilience that you will need for the harder challenges along the way because when you start easy you get more confidence you get that feeling of like hey I got this and that's exactly what you need it's like you create a backbone you create more strength inside of you to be able to tackle more difficult things along the way if you've been telling yourself all these years that you cannot do certain things it's hard to change the narrative and it's hard to make yourself believe that you can actually do them. So these little challenges help us create new corrective experiences and form new habits and see ourselves shine in situations we thought we could never master. And then we're like, oh God, you know, what's happening? I got this, you know, I'm doing it. And that's like the secret of this plan. Take it gentle, take it step by step, don't overdo it, don't go hardcore. You know, just do it the way you feel more comfortable. And that's the video for today. <laughs> I talked so much today. I need water, I need a break. <laughs> okay, see you in the next one. Love you, bye.